it's that time of the week again to get in here and try to keep it 200 or under let's see if we can do it this week i do have something extra i want to grab i'll show you guys when we get home so far so good um i had a few things at home left over from last week so this is going to be a smaller haul which is a good thing because i'm going to try to keep it the budget as close as i can and grab some things that or at least grab this one thing that i need to replace and that i want so yeah i'm just looking for easy quick these protein packs and these things like that like the apples and caramel caramel whatever you know stuff like that all right let's keep going so here's what i'm thinking about buying when i did a huge declutter i got rid of my instant pot i'd had it for years to be fair but anyway i was wanting to make rice and i was like you know it's so hard for me to make rice i'm not good at it a rice cooker's like 30 dollars. i could just double that and be able to make my spaghetti eggs potatoes you know and they have these and these are 59 they're the cheapest ones actually the pioneer woman I love the beautiful, but anyway, that's a slow cooker. But this thing is a display. When I tell you, I know we don't have a center in it, but that worries me. <laughs> is this thing that flimsy? That would be crazy. I don't know. Okay, I'm going to get it anyway. If I hate it, I'll bring it back. All right, let's buy us a pressure cooker. All right, so I had to grab some dog food. And, oops, I dropped my drink. But you see, it's not as big of a haul as it usually is. I just, the menu I made, it just didn't ask for it. So let me get this drink box put back on here. And let's get home and see what we got. All right, so my grand whopping total was $2.52. And mind you, this was $60. Okay, so, well, I mean, $59.99 tax and you know, minus tax, uh, not including tax. So, I mean, I guess I did technically keep it under with food, but it ended up being higher than I had projected when I put everything in the car online. So it's over about, which I did get a couple of extra things to be fair. It's over about 20 bucks, more than I thought, but it's fine. We stayed under the 200 mark for food. So let's go home and put it away. All right, so this is the haul. I'm out of breath. I had to carry this stuff up a lot of stairs. So this was 253 and change. Mind you, my Pioneer Woman, <laughs> my poor bread. I smushed it. It happens. What can I do? Anyway, I'm gonna unbox this here shortly. That was like 60 bucks plus tax. And I got the Glade plug-in things. They were like, right at $10 for those, and then milk bones, and then Beavis's dog food, so that's right at 25 bucks or so. So I stayed way under budget. I got some Cinnamon Toast Crunch bars. I got some salsa for chicken fajita crock pot meal. Got some strawberry orange. I got these pizzas I remember when I was little. Can't wait to make those. Pudding, banana peppers, some pomegranate cherry, and crush for water, a bunch of these sliced apples, carrots and dip, turkey, apples, again, whatever, black beans, spaghetti, meatballs, jiffy cornbread, muffin mix, got the vegetarian kind, it's fine, can of biscuits, a bunch of these, snack crackers, tortilla chips, kettle cooked jalapeno, some chicken, some ground beef, some Spanish rice, some onions, my poor bread, and uh, that's a smash burger, all right. Um, some Gogurt, some Balance Breaks, Balance Breaks, whatever they are, some Knee High, some Gatorade Zero, I don't care if it's Zero or not, some Polish Sausage, some Mozzarella Cheese, Mozzarella, 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 whatever. Um, got 16 mini sandwiches, they're probably melted. Some of these, Cucumber, Uncrustables, Pepsi, 
mandarin oranges, these Ritz snacks. I want to make those pizzas with the pepperoni. We're going to have smash burgers. I have stuff for chili cheese fries already. Breakfast for dinner with hash browns and eggs and everything. And Beavis is sniffing everything. I don't get it. Anyway, uh, we're also going to have smash burgers. Did I mention that? We're going to have the chicken pita crock pot deal. We're going to have... Um, I forget what else, but yeah, this is what right at 200 or under will get you. Now, mind you, my hauls are not healthy hauls. This is not a nutrition channel. So if that's what you're looking for, you're barking up the wrong tree. But I'm going to box this at the end, so stick around for that. Stick around, sub up if you haven't. We do a lot of hauls and cleaning and just everything around here. This is a clean, but now those are from last night. What are you going to do? And we will continue with our clean in the kitchen. Uh, I don't know. That may be Sunday, it may be Monday, but let's get this stuff put away because I was out way too long after I went to the store. So I wanna hurry and I will show you all, of course, the, what will we call it? The obligatory, the ceremonial, the, I'll just show you all the drinks and they get organized, okay? So yeah, that's it. Let me know what some of your favorite meals to cook are because next week I need some new meal ideas, y'all. Hook a sister up, okay, okay. All right, so I'm gonna get Sniffy Beav over here and we're gonna get this stuff organized and I will see you all when it's time to unbox that Instant Pot. It's not an Instant Pot, it's Pioneer Woman, okay? I'll see you in a second. Are you enjoying your big treat, Beav? Of course you are. Okay, so we're gonna get this cracked open and let's see what it looks like. This is the Pioneer Woman six quart, six in one, pressure cooker, slow cooker, sauteer, rice cooker, all the things. So let's get it cracked open. Okay, I wanna tell you, this thing's a beauty. Now, is it gonna last as long as a Instant Pot? I'm not sure. Let's get some light on the situation. There we go. It's very, very pretty. It has all the stuff in it. It has your paddle and your your water cup, I guess, for your rice. It comes with your little insert. Eek. It's, I guess, non-stick, but I prefer stainless steel. I'm not being picky, just saying. Um... I mean, it looks nice. I think mine was an eight quart. This one's a little smaller, but see, it has your measurements on the side. I mean, that's not too bad. Again, beautiful, beautiful piece of machinery. You know, let's get a better look at it. All right, there she is. Um, Like I said, it's, it's beautiful. I like the color. I like the wood handles. Very pretty, and it comes with a paddle, a little cup for your rice water. It does come with that little raised up thingamajig. I'm sure there's a specific name, but that does concern me because the inside is, I don't know if it's supposed to be scratchless. <laughs> I'm making that up because I have no idea. But you see, I don't know. How long is it gonna take for that to get that scratched? I mean, it's an instant pod kind of situation. I have to get used to it, you know, as far as the controllers. Now, those are plastic handles, even though they look like wood. I ain't gonna, um, normally, I would just toss the box on something like this. But I'm not going to because what happens if I hate this? What if it doesn't work right, you know? And the reason I bought another one, even though I have decluttered immensely and got rid of everything in the kitchen and blah, blah, blah. It's because I needed it. Honestly, I got rid of my other one and I wanted to make rice really. This is why we can't have anything nice. Ma'am, Beavis. She's in the zone at this moment. Oh, don't get choked. Okay, so back to this. Um, yeah, I love it. 
I, I think it's beautiful and I can't wait to use it and I can't wait to peel off that plastic. Uh, but I am concerned because it's not stainless steel. Um, hopefully that won't matter, right? I'll just use it and enjoy it and keep the receipt, keep the box. If anything goes haywire or whatever, I will just take it back and get my money back. Easy peasy. But yeah, I needed it. I need it to make spaghetti, eggs, potatoes, rice especially because I cannot make rice. I'm terrible at it. Some of you probably can do it great. Could have just bought a rice cooker, but I thought, let me just get this. I mean, whatever. It is what it is, okay? Don't judge me. Anyway, I want to thank you guys for watching today. Happy Vlogoween Day, I don't know, 10, 11. I know Terrifier 3 is in theaters, and we should have already went and seen it. I'm planning on going and seeing it. We're also going to do Dress Up Halloween, Clean With Me. We're going to try to get a lot of stuff done before the end of this Vlogoween, and then we're going to be on a schedule. I'm not going to get off on a big uh, rant on all of that right now, but stay tuned because we will be fixing a schedule, but God bless you guys. Thank y'all for tuning in today and hanging out with me. If you made it to the end, definitely hit the like button. Free way to support the channel. Definitely sub up if you haven't. Lots of things going on over here. We'd love to have you. God bless you guys. Have an amazing rest of your day, and I will see all of you pioneer men and women in the next one tomorrow.